Have you ever get manipulated? Or did you try to manipulate or persuade others? Wait, what is manipulation? How does manipulation works? This is what dark psychology studies. Dark psychology is about studying thought process, behavior of manipulation, persuasion, and the nature of predation on others psychologically. Manipulation is use of techniques and tricks to deceive others to get what the manipulator wants. So, what's the difference between manipulation and persuasion? They both are about making others think what we want them to think. The key difference is intention. In manipulation, there is harm to others and only the manipulator gains benefit. In persuasion, the intention is honest, both of them gets benefited, and there are chances that only the person who got persuaded gets benefit. Most cases, the person getting persuaded know that other is trying to persuade them. But manipulation is lying and deceit. If you had no knowledge on manipulation, you would be too late to realize you were under manipulation. Example for manipulation could be a scammer who portrays themselves as genuine salesmen, showing fake documents but making you believe the authenticity of document through manipulation techniques. On the other hand, teacher persuading students to learn better. She may talk emotionally saying that students are not going to have bright future, or their parents would be disappointed in them. Here, students are more likely know that the teacher is persuading them to study, and of course, studying is benefit for students. Let's be honest, no one likes to be manipulated, and some you may have been victim to it and got emotionally hurt. But, it is not the same for manipulator. There are manipulators trying to manipulate due to other circumstances. Still, there are manipulators who just enjoy manipulating. They are driven by their own selfish desires and manipulate others to get their desires to reality. And there are manipulators whose desire is to manipulate itself. They want others to get hurt through their manipulative behavior. There are certain personality and personality traits who manipulate the most. In psychology, it is known as dark triad. It consists of three traits, that being Narcissism, Machiavellianism, Psychopathy Narcissistic individuals are highly self-centered, craves admiration from others, can be arrogant and selfish, they lack empathy and are highly sensitive to criticism. Machiavellian lacks both emotion and morality. They are manipulative and duplicitous. They are driven by their own self-interest. Psychopathy shows lack of empathy and remorse. They exhibit antisocial behaviors. Note, psychopathy and psychopath are two distinctive traits. So the question arises, how do they manipulate us? Now, let's see on how they manipulate us. First, flattery. They shower flattery on you. They are skilled in this, they will say exactly what you wanted to hear making you feel guilty when you are not helping them when they were so nice to you. Hence, you end up helping them what they want you to do. Second is that they will always blame you. Situation doesn't matter, they will blame you. They don't like taking responsibility for their mistake. They may say this is all your fault, or this wouldn't have happened if you weren't there, they won't hesitate to make you a scapegoat. Third is they are the victim. Just as they blame you, they also portray themselves as victims. They either exaggerate their problem, or convince that their mistakes are not their fault. They may say I'm mentally exhausted to do this work, could you do it for me? Or I am the only one who gets all the troubles. These sentences can be said by person who genuinely feel helpless, but manipulators. Say these words more often, so often that sometimes it just doesn't seem right and it often results in gaining your sympathy to do what they want you to do. 4. They make you question yourself. They would neglect your concerns and feelings. They would often say you are overreacting, you are not thinking normally right now. They say this so often that they manipulate you into questioning your own decisions and judgment. 5. They behave emotionally. They behave emotionally to manipulate you, crying to gain your sympathy, acting very exciting so you would feel bad turning down their offer, getting angry and screaming in public to embarrass you and to get their own way in an argument. 
and many more. And so, after all this, how can you know if someone is manipulating you? First, don't ignore your gut feeling. There are many times you would feel something is not right when getting manipulated. So don't neglect your gut feeling without proper reasoning. Second is, sympathy. They will cry, and twist their word to their convenience. They would just not admit their mistake, they will get you feel sympathy for them and slowly get you do what they want you to do. Third is to blame. If you are a person who has low self-esteem, you are right person for them to blame you. They would get you to feel guilty for their mistake. Fourth is that you are left in dark. Even though you think you are close to that person, there are always important decisions made by them without you knowing till the last moment. Even if the decision affect both of you equally, they will leave you in dark from important decisions and information. Fifth is that they will take control of your decisions and make themselves dependable. No, they are not dependable, they make you depend on them. They will always disagree with you, that dress is not good, that plan is not effective. And belittling your concerns saying you are being dramatic, and you are not thinking rationally. Then making you depend on them saying listen to me, my plan is effective and productive. Making you doubt your decisions and forcing you to depend on them. Six is that they lie a lot. Don't forget that they are very skilled liars. They can lie with adding truths in between. Be aware that you don't fall into your assumptions and question every detail possible. Seven is that they prey on your emotions. They will recognize the emotion you are feeling and prey on them. They will manipulate emotionally by taking advantage of your vulnerability and insecurity. It might not be possible to spot manipulation when you are vulnerable emotionally, hence always remember to not take decisions when you are emotional. Analyze after taking your time on calming down. That's all for this video. There will be more videos coming out. Be sure to watch it.